Yes, that's my primary constituency to be in the kitchen before even being in the Senate as a woman. And I'm proud to be in the kitchen and even the other room. Well, jokes apart, one, every Nigerian will be happy to see the girls that were rescued back home. And nobody that have seen the pictures of those girls will remain the same. Because we've said it over and over, we are mothers, we are parents, and anything that happens to a child out there, we should put it in our back of our mind and see if it is our own children, how do we, believe, how do we feel? I was privileged to be in the entourage of the presidential committee that went to visit Chibok. And for the information, Chibok is a neighbor to my local government, Minchika, which is less than an hour. And so if you look at the terrain of the, I mean, that's, I mean, zone, especially Borno, Adamawa, Gombe. You looked at the Mandara Mountains, and that's where most of the activities of the Boko Haram and cliffs run about. It's so mountainous that even climbing the mountain takes you about three hours to four hours. And just look at the gaullish story about some of these children or women <clears throat> that were not privileged to know how to climb the mountains. And most of them were found dead in ditches that couldn't, it's almost about more than 20 feet down below. But for the girls to be found, we still have hope that the remaining girls will come back home. When we visited Chibo and we met the mothers, they were in a very pitiable situation. And we were told that 10 of the mothers were dead already. And again, most of these girls found probably there are some of the girls that are not alive. The one that struck my heart and I felt so pain was one of those girls that have a child, a boy. Now this boy will grow up. What will become of that child? And so it's not getting the girls that matters. We need, to we need them to go into a psychological uh, I mean, uh, cleansing because of the trauma they must have gone into, I mean, into through. And Thank God for the Red Cross, like my sister has said, and even the Swiss government, and again, even with the federal government. But we've heard again that there is another negotiation that is going on. Our prayers is that all the girls should be found rehabilitated so that they can now find a conducive atmosphere for them to forget about the trauma they have gone through, and government again to look, at it, to look inward to see that security is most important and paramount to every Nigerian homeowner abroad. But on this one, it's, 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 not, it's not a pitiable, I mean, it's not a situation that we'll be happy to stay with. When I was coming back from Yola, I think one of the president of the EYN church, the wife, now said they were going to have I mean, uh, uh, a service with the girls. And we started having a discussion. And most of the situations, are the information we get is not something that we have to be discussing it publicly here. But the government has a lot of a heel of stats to see that these girls are really rehabilitated. But it is a joy to us all, mothers, parents, fathers, to join hands and to pray not only for the Chiba girls, but the safety, unity, and progression of our nation. Thank you very much, Mr. President.